Hey everyone, this is Saul from Three Kingdoms Games coming to you today with Gunkumono War Tiles. This is a two to five player tile placement game by Renegade Games. This is a fantastic game. This is something that I think everyone should have in their collection. It plays in the 45 to 60 minutes like it says on the box, which is very rare. And that includes when you're tra teaching new people because the mechanics are so simple. Also, because the mechanics are so simple, but there's still a ton of strategy, this can satisfy anyone from the casual to the more serious gamer. And sometimes all you want to play is something that's quick and easy in a limited amount of time. So I'm going to set this up on the table, show you how it is set up and how the turn sequences go. So this is the contents of the box. You get this great board. I love it. You get these domino figures to track your points. There's one for each player. Um, since it's a four-player game I set this up for, I'm just going to put the other ones aside. And now look at these things, they are cute though. Like they're not the standard meeples, they actually have a shape to them, which is awesome. I love little touches like that. So, since it's a four player game, I set it up on this line. It's marked as four players. The way you set up these stacks is, you have five lotus, and then five crane, and then five dragon. So one in each stack. If you're playing a two player game, you don't use the lotus tokens. Um, these are used for bonus points at the end of the game, since each of these have, as you can awkwardly see there, a point value. You then also get 60 of these large army tokens. Uh, these will be scaled based off the number of players you have. Uh, if you're using four or five players, you use everything. 25 of the small army tokens. You set up one in each lane of the honor uh, track. Two towers for each person. These are used for scoring during the game. And then you set up three face-up tiles. I like setting them up on this little gap on the board. You can set them up off the board if you want to. As well as you have to set up the end game tokens. Uh, the end game is... That tile, once that tile gets drawn, it is the end of the game. You only play till the end of that round. So the player sitting to the right of whoever has this, because this will mark the starting player. So to set that up, you take five of the large army tokens, shuffle up these tiles, put this on top so you know that this is the last stack. Now you can put this off to the side in a box or wherever. Each person also gets their Damio token. Uh, it's plain on one side, it says 100 on the other, so that way if you lap the board, which is very easy to do in this game, um, you can keep track of it easy, easily. So each person will get dealt one of each of the small tokens, small army tiles. There's one for each of the different kinds of troops. Plus then each person gets three large army tiles. Large army tiles have two sides to them. Small armies, as you saw, only have the one tile. Now tile placement in this game is very easy. So, if you want to place a tile, it must ha follow a few rules. One, you cannot place it over top of itself. So, since this is blue, and this is blue, you can't place it over that. You can't place it so it hangs off the board, and it has to be on the same elevation across the entire piece. So, what I mean for that is, so, this would be a legal placement for that. But let's say I wanted to place this tile then. I couldn't do it since it's hanging over. Uh, a rule for that you can do, it says so in the book, take one of your small tiles, turn it face down and now it's all level and that works. You don't score the points for the small one but you get all the points for the large ones. So once you place a tile you have a choice. You either score for victory points or for honor. Now in this situation you can score victory points for this so it would be three since it's all the same piece in this formation. So let's say I was the yellow player and I'd score three. Now I could score one victory point for the blue samurais over here or as you can see here these little towers at the bottom is honor 
so I could choose to score it for honor. If I score it for honor, I would take the blue and move it forward one. Once you get your five tokens past one of these towers, you can equal to or past one of these towers, you can then place it on the board. So we're just going to jump ahead a little bit, assume this happened. I get to place this on any formation on the board that is not already controlled by someone else's tower. So if I did this, I then, on my turn when I was scoring, so I could add to this formation, but I won't be able to score victory points for it because after I finish my action, I score victory points for everything that's in the formation with my tower. So this would be another four victory points every time I take an action if no one cut off the edges, interrupt it. So that's really the only way to interact with people in this game is by stopping them from getting into things first. So once you place a tile, you then get to refill your hand because you will always have three tiles. You could have the choice then of going for one of the face up tiles or drawing blindly from one of the stacks. If you draw from a face up tile, you then replace it with another random tile. So once you go through all these tiles, that's where you end up drawing from here. And then as soon as someone draws that tile, that signals the end of the game, like I said. So end of the round happens, you go through your motions, you finish your round. Any of these that were claimed, would you claim these by moving onto or past it with by gaining honor? You claim this, your token comes off the board, end of the game, you reveal what you get, add those to your total, and it's that simple. So there you have it. Gun Kimono War Tiles, a fantastic tile placement game for two to five players. Like you just saw, super simple mechanics, easy to pick up. I think this is a must for anyone. If you like what you saw here, please like and subscribe to the channel to keep the content coming, as well as hit the notification icon so you can stay up to date. You can also follow us on Facebook as well as at 3kingdomsgames.com for our blogs. Thank you. See you next time.